I've been seeing these imperialism videos all over YouTube, so I figured it's about time that I make my own. 2K23 imperialism, but every player is on the team that drafted them. If you don't know how this is gonna go, I got you, because we ain't heard the word imperialism since we was in school, and we wasn't even really paying attention then. Basically, every player is gonna be on the team that drafted them, and that team, of course, is gonna own the state that they play in, or they gonna share the state with other teams, California, Texas, y'all know they got multiple teams. I'm gonna spin the wheel to decide which team is attacking, then spin this arrow to decide which state they'll go at they'll then have to beat that team to claim the territory and they get the losing team's best player vice versa if they end up going over there and they lose they give up their best player and their territory and we'll do this till there's one team left standing with control over the entire map but before we get into it my analytics show me that 80 percent of y'all aren't subscribed subscribe like the video as well and let's get into it let's see who will be the first team attacking the miami heat which way will they end up going down there's nothing underneath miami why would they do that just go yep yeah, there you go right there the battle of florida off the the Heat might be doomed. They do got Bull Bull and Bam out of bio down there. The Magic been trashed for so long, though. I know they got some heat on the bench. Let's find out. Bogdanovich ready to shoot that thing. Tyler Hero ready to shoot that thing. They got a lot of upside on their team. Look at the pick and roll. Yeah! Early on, you can already see who the better team is here. They scoring on them with ease. Cole Anthony trying to sauce up, but Tyler Hero is just locking all that up. Oladipo for three! And it gets stuck behind the backboard. Oladipo, he giving you a lot of space. I was about to say, you might as well pull that thing. Oh my gosh, another the dunk from Adebayo. Sabonis is looking like the downfall of the Magic. Cole Anthony cooking up. Oh my gosh. Cole Anthony, Iso, and Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero not ready for this. You can tell he's not ready. Okay, he might have been. Damn! Oh my goodness! Had his legs in the air like a hooker in the night. If the Magic lose off the rip, Cole Anthony gets to go to the Heat. They got a three. They got a poster. What is next? Fade away? Who does he think he is? Oh my gosh. He was feeling it a little bit too much. Fade away? Bro, Cole Anthony, you gotta chill out, all right? You had one good play. I don't mean just start chucking up stuff. Who can make the most? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I said Cole Anthony automatically goes to the heat. I lied. Oh, they end up getting a steal. Ben Kiro, Ben Shiro, you gotta push it. You could take Tyler Hero. There's no way he just stood there. Okay, now he's trying to take him once the center gets down low. What is the thought process behind this? He gets to the line, though. Does he knock down the free throw in these clutch moments? He does. Justice Winslow on the court. Remember when they compared him to D-Wade? I don't know why Tyler Hero is the primary ball handler man's been on cool since the third but i guess that they believe in him so much that he'll get his way and he does hero left wide open in the corner what are they smoking oladipo still feeling like an all-star these are not those days anymore buddy magic down by nine with two minutes left not a good position the crowd are behind him though all they gotta do is keep going crazy oladipo slashes with the m1 get the ball out of wagner's hand he hasn't done nothing sabonis with the easy lay he ends up running over to the side no pass to all oh, tries to pass out of bio but Oladipo gets the steal Wagner running around passes back to Sabonis another easy layup Tyler Hero trying to hurry up and go crazy mm. What is Cole Anthony about to do? He had one good play. Step back. Bang! Down by two. 26 seconds left. Why would he foul? Y'all have a chance to get a stop. All Richardson has to do is knock down these two free throws, and he knocks down number one. If he knocks down number two, I think it's pretty safe to say that the game is over. He ended up winning 42-37 to 37 after a 14.7 rebound performance from Bam Adebayo, shooting seven for eight. Very efficient. Unlike Tyler Hero, who shot four for 15, he's going to be their downfall. You could tell. Miami now has full control over Florida. Florida, and they get another 88 overall center in DeMontis Sabonis. So they're looking pretty good for now. On to our next battle. Who will be the next team that decides to attack Timberwolves? And they'll end up going west, claiming South Dakota. So no matchup yet for the Timberwolves. Who else is going to attack a state? The Houston Rockets. The Rockets versus Trey Young led Mavs team. Let's get it. I did not know that Dylan Shanghai Brooks was drafted by the Rockets. Dylan Brooks shoots the three off rip and is knocked down. Let me find out he's going to lead his team to victory. The Mavs still not on the board yet they gotta at least get stops if they're not gonna score the first quarter was just the Mavs absolutely drowning passing out the Muscala for three you can't be any more desperate the Mavs started to absolutely unload the clip but Dylan Brooks and Jalen Green were just too much to handle they was out there looking like the greatest duo of all time Jalen Green was doing them so bad they wanted to fight him in the end the Rockets end up winning by 22 absolutely blowing out the Mavericks claiming their part of Texas Spurs I hope that y'all don't think that y'all gonna be able to hide in that corner for long because the Rockets is coming for y'all next I know I said the winning team gets the 
losing team's best player, but Jalen Brunson did way better than Trey. They got to take him. The next team to attack will be Pistons. Mm. That's another team that been trashed for so long, so they definitely got to have some good players. Let's spin this arrow to see which way they'll be attacking. They're going south, Pistons versus Pacers. The Paul George and Kawhi led Pacers team, I don't know if this is good for them. They might have a chance. Kawhi might not even play. Y'all know how he is. Will the duo of Kay Cunningham and Chris Middleton be like that? The answer was no, but Andre Drummond went absolute god mode. Looking like a modern day Will Chamberlain man was blocking Expedition P layups, dunking on people, getting to the basket with ease. Drummond's perfect performance led the Pistons to the W over the Pacers, 49 to 34. They now claim their land and they get a lockdown defender in Kawhi Leonard. Next team to attack, the Milwaukee Bucks. Who would they be going after? The choices are either Chicago, Detroit, or the Timberwolves. Okay, Milwaukee trying to go for all that land. The Timberwolves got a pretty tough squad. I don't know if Giannis alone could carry against that. Surprisingly, Giannis and the role players had the lead in the first quarter. I don't know what type of pep talk they had, but they just wasn't missing. Giannis was knocking down deep twos. Kevin Porter Jr. Duncan. Why is Ricky Rubio guarding Giannis? See, this is how the Timberwolves are about to lose. The Timberwolves just had nobody that was able to guard Giannis. Antetokounmpo dash and smash for the win. The Bucks now claim Minnesota, South Dakota, and they get Carl Anthony Towns. Next team to battle, the Memphis Grizzlies. I was waiting for John Morant to want that smoke. Who is they going after? Almost Memphis versus the Bulls, but Kentucky just had to get in the way. Memphis claims Kentucky now. Next up, we have the Atlanta Hawks. Hopefully, they get a matchup. You know, let's not have a repeat. And we have a repeat. They end up going northeast to claim South Carolina. There's no way that this happens three times in a row, right? Let's get it. The Hornets. I know that they want to take back control of the whole Carolinas. And they end up going against the Hawks. All right. Luca versus LaMelo. Shea versus Kelly. Who was winning it? It's coming down to the final couple of seconds. Both teams are out here missing. Oh, my gosh. Big O with the poster. Charlotte down by one. They put LaMelo back in the game. I'm sure he going to go for a three point fadeaway. Oh, I thought that was it right there. Gilgis Alexander goes to the line. We can win this. Misses the first one. You suck. Better make the second one. Oh my gosh. Gilgis Alexander is the worst basketball player ever. Gotta play lockdown defense after that. Oh, Luka Doncic fade away and it goes in. Will that prove to be the dagger? They go back to missing free throws, man. Oh, LaMelo pulls with the quickness and knocks down the shot. They end up having a foul and Luka knocks down both free throws. Charlotte down by three. Why didn't they pass it to LaMelo? I don't know, but I guess they got that faith in Gilgis Alexander to get wide open and he knocks down the 3 42 42 they is supposed to be up by two right now though if we're being honest kelly Oubre ball in his hands last couple seconds oh yeah this is going into overtime oh whoa luca 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 he misses it and they're going into overtime d block is hot property right now everybody wants that south carolina it's all about who wants it the most luca step back midi hornets up by four close to about one minute left i'm expecting the luca three right now step back that's the signature right there oh he's different 48 47 one minute left gives us alexander fade away three Kevin Herter wide open. He doesn't shoot it. He throws the turnover. Oh my gosh. That turnover was way too critical. Charlotte ends up winning. Claiming South Carolina and Atlanta. Also, they get Luka. I don't see nobody beating Charlotte right now. Next team on the attack will be 76ers. All right. I have been waiting for the 13 colonies to get involved. Which colony will they end up going after? Going straight at Washington. The Sixers have that whole trust the process thing going on. So I'm expecting them to be stacked. And I was right. Oh my gosh. Look at that roster. That's just the starting lineup. The Wizards stand no chance. Ben Simmons on the bench. Andre Iguodala with the knowledge. Markel Fultz on the bench. They stay. A few inches later. The Wizards are up by 14 in the fourth quarter. JaVale McGee has definitely been the MVP of this game, controlling the paint. I don't know what that Wizards jersey did to John Wall, but he definitely got back into his youth, knocking down threes and attacking the basket. Nobody on the six is really helping out, though. Wizards end up taking it 39 to 29, claiming Philadelphia and Joel Embiid. Who else? wants to smoke and it's the new orleans pelicans they might be able to take a large chunk of texas if they verse the right people and they end up going downwards into nothingness let's run that back okay pelicans versus rockets this is gonna be an interesting game anthony davis and zion on the same team they got a knockdown shooter and buddy hill how could i forget about the point guy chris paul all right well that's how i forgot you already know Jalen green is getting a bucket that's what he does Jalen walking bucket green 29 27 a minute left to go pass it to melton melton 
Dude, he missed yet, and he finally misses. That was the wrong shot to miss. Y'all could have been up by one right now. Oh my gosh, Chris Paul to AD connection. Jalen Brunson has been an absolute letdown. Oh my gosh, Jalen splash on your mama green. The man does not miss. When we talk about one J, Buddy Hill could have shot that. Buddy Hill could have definitely shot that. I don't know who Chris Paul thinks he is. AD tried to do the pullback. Here we go. It's getting intense. It's getting intense. Shanghai Brooks blowing past him. Nope. Smith Jr. with the lay. What are the Pelicans going to do with 21 seconds left? Down by one. AD and Zion could get a... Chris Paul just sold. Chris Paul just sold. He just sold. What was that? They forced the foul. Dylan Brooks knocked these both down. That might be game. That's one. He knocks down this next one, and they up by three. Oh, my gosh. Dylan Brooks is trash. I know that they can easily get a two. They're moving kind of slow, though. Chris Paul pull up. Chris Paul is a sellout. I just want to say that. Rockets take it 33-31. They still got control of most of Texas, and they take New Orleans. Wow. Next team to one order smoke is the Sacramento Kings. I've been waiting for California. It's just up and down, or you could go to the side a little bit. Kings versus Trailblazers. We got another close game in the fourth quarter. Tyrese Halliburton. He ends up making both free throws. Love to see it. Not to be biased or nothing, but I need Sac to win this. For one, because I'm from Sac, so that's why they got to win. For two, Gary Trent is playing the team that he got traded to. And I was supposed to get that Gary Trent jersey. I was supposed to get him and Marvin Bagley's because they both came from Duke, but that plan got ruined. And for three, because we lost against the Warriors in the playoffs. Let's get it. Where's Damian Lillard at? Imagine not having Dame in the fourth quarter. Layup. Easy. We need a Tyrese Halliburton dagger right now. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my gosh, the dime to Marvin Bagley. Dame wide open for three. He knocks it. Oh, that was a two. They might have just hold him down by five with 40 seconds to go, though. They got a foul. We already know Tyrese Halliburton not missing these. Bring the lead back up to side. Oh, Oh my gosh, Tyrese Halliburton is a sellout. Hold on, wait. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, whoa. Let's chill out. Step back. Oh my gosh, Tyrese Halliburton is a sellout. No way they foul, right? They still got a chance to get a stop. If they foul, that'll just ruin everything. Oh my gosh, 2K. Fix your computer. I was correct. That's the ball game. Kings win 47 to 40. They claim Portland. Marvin Bagley had a stellar performance. Tyrese Halliburton had a stellar. Per no, he didn't. One for five. Oh my gosh. They got all those points at the line. Isaiah Stewart's eight and 16 just wasn't good enough. Dame shot four for 15. This whole team shot garbage. All right, anyways, welcome to the Kings. Is Mr. Lillard and our next attackers of the day the rock is back at it again it's only two teams to go after the thunder with the three MVPs or the Spurs and they just avoided both and went straight for New Mexico Miami Heat back at it again they got full control over Florida the only teams that they could verse right now are the Hornets or they could skip the ocean and go straight to the Rockets and that's what they decided to do Heat versus Rockets Houston ends up absolutely dominating Miami this Rockets team has been very surprising it started off with Shanghai bro and Jalen Green. Now Clint Capella is getting in his bag. This game comes to an end. Houston takes over Florida. AD had 19 in this first game for him. That was a big pickup. Still can't believe Houston beat the Pelicans. I don't know how that happened. Tyler Hero tried though. 17 off of 20 shots. Wow. Adebayo didn't really do nothing in that game, but I think that Houston is pretty good in the backcourt, so I'm going to add him in as a power forward. The next team to win all the smoke. Oh, the Wizards is back for round two. Brooklyn or Cleveland, who is it going to be? Washington versus Brooklyn. This is not going to go good for them. Oh my gosh, that roster is bad. As expected, the Nets get absolutely demolished. The Wizards is on a mission right now. They beat the Trust to Process 76ers. That whole team was built off of being bad to get good draft picks. Our first 30 piece of the day, I don't think nobody else is going to get dead as bad as this. Bradley Beal, Joel Embiid, and JaVale McGee absolutely carrying. Yeah, nobody scoring double digits. They never had a chance. Kyle Kuzma with two points. Wizards now have Jared Allen, Joel Embiid, Rui Hachimura, and JaVale McGee in the paint. Whoever beat them is going to have to knock down a whole lot of threes. The next team to enter the gauntlet, we got the Utah Jazz. It's a very high chance that they end up just versing nobody. Let us find out. And yep, just like I said, they end up versing nobody. It's pretty split between Idaho and Wyoming. I'm going to just give them both. I'm expecting them to land on the Cali team. Maybe they end up versing Utah. Nope, we're going all the way to Canada. And who do the Raptors want the smoke with today? They're going straight for the Knicks. Led by a grown man, Kristaps. When did he get that beard? Where have I been? 
this Toronto team is kind of nasty. Hold on. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that if the team looks good, then they probably going to lose. Knicks end up winning 36 to 29. Chris Stapps had a double double. RJ Barrett 12 points off 15 shots. Tomorrow, I'm disappointed, man. Four for 16? You still going to the Knickerbockers, but like, come on, do better next time. Next team up is a LeBron, Kyrie, Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland Cavaliers. I can't really see LeBron losing, so who else is joining the land? Detroit Pistons. Okay. Can Kawhi stop LeBron? Let's find out. It's a close game late in the fourth. Drummond, Chamberlain, and Kawhi been keeping this team in it. Kyrie going to the basket. I don't think nobody scored on Drummond yet. The best hope that they got is to go to the line and knock down free throws. Cavs up by three. Kawhi tried attacking the basket, but gets the ball stolen. LeBron wide open in the paint. Nobody guarding the basket. Kawhi trying to clap back at him. Andrew Wiggins got the defense, though. Hold on. Don't sleep, Kawhi. Oh, but he gets the board and tries to go back up. Gets another board. See, that's one thing that they got over the Cavs is them rebounds again. K Cunningham wide open. Oh, I was about to say they're selling. Down by two. Kyrie, I'm going to need that clutch gene to kick in. I know it's not 2016 no more, but hey, won't he do it? They still got a chance. If they knock down the three right here, they only down by two. Goes by the screen. Okay, Cunningham is not shooting that thing. Fade away. And it's off. Yeah, that's ball game. The Cavaliers take the game. They take Kawhi. And they take the land. Next team to go on the attack. The OKC Thunder. I have been waiting for the Thunder to be chosen. They do got the three MVPs. And they going straight at Houston. This is going to be interesting. Houston been dominating. But can they dominate against Westbrook, Harden, and KD? It took three MVPs to stop Houston's reign of terror. And it's not even looking like this game is solidified yet. Hold on. Jalen Green still got some fight in them. If that pass would have went to Dylan Brooks, they would have been down by three. Who going to be the one that hit the dagger? I know that it's not Westbrook. He might throw a turnover. Passes it to James Harden and there it go right there. That's the ball game, folks. Thunder take the W 45 to 36 and take a huge chunk of the map with him. James Harden led the team with 14 points. KD had 10 and 6. They now add Anthony Davis to their roster. Since the Thunder already got Steven Adams, I'm going to just let AD play power forward. That is the position that he prefers anyways. The Houston dynasty is finally falling. It's going to be interesting to see who else is going to go down. Is the Knicks going to lose Canada? They could be ball it could be the Wizards. That's a part of Detroit over there. Knicks versus the Cavs. Cleveland down by one. The land is on the line right now. DeMar DeRozan has proven to be a great pickup for the Knicks. He do got Kawhi on the no. I don't know why he's trying to go crazy with Kawhi Leonard guarding him. Was that really y'all plan? Kawhi got the clutch gene. Kyrie got the clutch gene. It's a lot of clutch on the court right now. Evan Mobley was not the person to take that shot. Definitely was not the person that needed to take that shot. Oh my gosh. Kawhi Leonard with the lockdown defense passes into LeBron on the fast break. A poster would have been crazy right there. Knocks down the first free throw. Knocks down. Oh, he misses the second free throw. LeBron, what are you doing? I can smell a Cavs 3 incoming. Never mind. I just lied. Kawhi body and DeMar got him up in the air. Oh, but he decides to go up when he's like, what? Gallinari to the basket. Nobody guarding him. If I'm giving the ball to anybody, it's Kyrie, honestly. Darius Garland for three. Oh, and he misses. New York takes the W. They now claim the land and Detroit. Oh, yeah, they get LeBron. LeBron too. He dropped 18. The next team to enter the battlefield, the San Antonio. Oh, the Spurs escape Clippers. Who would the Clippers be going after? They got Nevada. They got or they got the Warriors. All right. I think that we go all pretty much tell who's gonna win right now. The Warriors still got their same exact squad. You know how good of a franchise you gotta be to have a championship team off straight development? Will we ever see this? Let me get off my knees. They beat the Kings. Forget them. Clippers. I need y'all to win this. As expected, the Warriors end up winning. I didn't know that the Clippers was that trash when it came to the draft. Maybe it's because. Don't wait, Curry for three. Okay. I think at the end of it is gonna be the Warriors versus the Kings for complete control over Cali. They now claim part of Los Angeles. Curry had 12. Eric Pascal had 12. That is not the person that I expected to be the second best. Miles Bridges had 22. Oh my goodness. He is now a warrior. Next team up on the board. Memphis back at it again. We ain't seen them since they took Kentucky. Who will they be going for? They got the Hornets, they got the Knicks, they got the Bulls, and they going for the Bulls. Okay. John Moran versus Derrick Rose. Let's get it. It's a real intense game right now. Jimmy Buckets goes to the line. Bulls up 49-46 with a minute 30 left to go. Knocks down free throw number two and they up by four. Memphis still got a chance. I'm surprised that they don't got John Moran in the game. Kyle Lowry was wide open right there. Kevin Love. Kevin Love finna take it back on him. That's Timberwolves, Kevin Love. I feel like Jimmy Butler is just finna take over though. Like, I could see the takeover. Like, look, he's going to the line again. He ends up knocking down both free throws. Bulls up. Grizzlies, get John Moran in the game. What are y'all doing? This man has 14 points shooting six for eight. What is the problem? He's healthy. One foul. Lowry versus D. Rose. Oh, Okay, and they're going right back to the same play over and over again. Kevin Love is just him down there, though. Runs him into the screen. Jimmy Buck is back at the line again. Is we in the loophole right now? Rinse and repeat.
he knocks down both of those. He passes it back down to Love. Is this what the game has been this whole time? Kevin Love is him right now. 52-54, 30 seconds to go. All they got to do is get this stop. Jimmy Butler gets the ball. If he goes to the free throw line one more time. John Moran ended up never getting back into the game. I don't know what this last minute was. Kevin Love pull up. He's him. That's old man Kevin Love, too. This not even an everybody in a prime type vid. He, that's just off the muscle. Either way, the Bulls take Memphis territory. Jimmy dropped 26 on five minute quarters. D Rose was 16. They was going off. Kevin Love had 15. Ja had 14. Jaron Jackson Jr. had 13. So both teams did they thug. This was, the coach just made that terrible decision at the end of the game. K Love, you did your thing, but Ja's going to the Bulls. I'm sorry. The Spurs have finally entered the chat. It's only one way to go, Spurs. Like, honestly, yep, just take that L. Um, we know how this is going to go. As expected, OKC demolishes the Spurs by 30. They now have full control over Texas. KD had 24. Everybody else has single digits. It's going to be tough to beat this team. Welcome to the squad. DeJounte Pro and Menace Murray. I'm pretty sure he just took Westbrook's spot. Damn. Not too many teams left, but it's still a lot of land to be taken. The Nuggets. If the arrow goes east, I'll give them Kansas, Nebraska. Okay. Southeast. Do they want to smoke with OKC? This is going to be a tough battle right here. You got Jamal Murray at the one. James Harden at the one. Donovan Mitchell at the two. DeJounte Murray at the two. Michael never swing the ball. Porter at the three. Who the fuck is that guy? And the rest are nobody. Surprisingly, this game wasn't competitive at all. I definitely thought it was going to be on some last shot wins, but nah, the Thunder just ended up winning by 16. James Harden ended up dropping 18 with a big old smile on his face. KD had 13. Jokic tried, but not hard enough. And they take over Colorado. First, they got AD. Now they get Jokic. The Thunder are looking pretty unstoppable right now. Who else is finna expand? We back with the Hornets. We ain't seen them since that game against Atlanta. They do got a chance to go up against OKC, but they not ready yet though yeah it's probably better that they just go ahead and claim virginia for the one time who is up next and can we get a matchup the suns the suns is surrounded by teams so we definitely get in a matchup this time and then they just take over nevada all right give me a team the knicks want all the smoke with the 13 colonies man is it about that time we get knicks versus wizards we get knicks versus bucks or we could get knicks versus bulls both teams super stacked i think i got the knicks we finna find out the duo of john moran and jimmy Butler has been too much for the knicks to handle the DeMar DeRozan with the easy layup. The Bulls continue their east side takeover. They now get New York and Canada. Also LeBron. So now they start to line up as John Moran, Gary Harris, Jimmy Butler, LeBron, Bobby Portis Jr. That team is different. Why is Bobby Portis the center though? Cool ass. Almost time for it to end. The Suns are back on the board. They have no choice but to verse somebody. Their best chance might be Utah and they go up against the Kings. Phoenix went to Sacramento and absolutely made the Kings their bit. Aaron Fox had six. Damian Lillard had five. Tyrese Halliburton had five. This whole team is just trash for that. DeAndre Aiden, 18 and 11, dominating everybody. Phoenix takes over Sacramento and Portland. They also get game time. Last couple teams, Milwaukee is back. Who will Milwaukee go after? They had a Southwest against the Jazz. Utah hasn't played a game yet. Milwaukee has, and they got the addition of Carl Anthony Towns. The game is type close right now, 36, 32, with one minute left. Josh Hart, we seen him in that one summer league when he was going off. Can he pull that out right now? Runs him into the screen. Is that all the way to the Baja? Yes, it is. 36 634. Carlos Boozer is the coach? What? What has Giannis got in store from spin move? Oh my gosh. I ain't never seen Giannis act like this. Now that was crazy. That man Giannis just hit him with a spin move flight shot. Yo, he touched the front of the rim, bro. Just so. Bucks end up winning 41-34. The Jazz didn't win, but they did put up a good fight. That means nothing, though. They lose their land. Giannis had 28-16 and 16 on five-minute quarters. They never stood a chance. Thomas Bryant to the Bucks. Down to the final nine entries, and the Bucks have to go back to Bad. Who do they want to smoke with this time? They got people on the West and the East. Bucks versus Bulls. Bucks ended up getting absolutely smashed. There's a bigger story though. Why did Giannis just absolutely yam on LeBron's head? Look at, oh my gosh. LeBron grabbed his heart out of his chest and dunked on him. Took the soul. Look at LeBron right there. That is a soulless man. Ja thought he was going to have to shoot somebody when he saw that. But anyways, Bulls win by 10. They take over all of the land that Milwaukee had. Right now, it's looking like the final is going to end up being Thunder versus Bulls. The Bulls got Giannis, LeBron, Ja, Jimmy Butler. I ain't gonna lie though. The Thunder might just be more stacked. This team is looking crazy. The next team to enter the gauntlet. I just realized the Celtics been dodging smoke this whole time. I don't know how they still ain't versus nobody yet. Suns. Which way would the Suns be heading? And they look to take away more of California as they go up against the Warriors. So my recording ended up crashing. Very tragic. Just know Phoenix beat the Warriors and ended up obtaining Curry and their land. Now we on OKC versus the Bulls to see who takes the 
entire middle of the map. Let's get it. The first quarter was all Giannis and Jokic. You'll have Giannis go to the basket. Then Jokic clapping right back. Giannis will continue his momentum going into the second quarter. John Moran started to get into his Duffy as well. But OKC managed to stay on top after James Harden started raining down shots like J. Cole when they tried him for the third time. Add on to that, AD finally getting into his groove. And it's looking bad for the Bulls. Giannis' usual dash and smash wasn't working. And the Thunder was just hitting on all cylinders. LeBron finally deciding to get into the game. Forces, yo. Yo, 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 Jokic just got body. Getting into the game, passes to Gary Harris for the pick and pop. Is the comeback very much possible? I'm surprised KD not just pulling that thing on Jimmy. He keeps trying to ISO and he keeps getting locked up. He goes to the basket and throws the turnover. Ja going back down the other way, throws up the alley. Oop, that was a bad decision. KD going back the other way. I'm surprised he didn't just pull up. DeJounte Murray makes the layup. That Ja Moran turnover might have just ruined everything. Giannis keeps on trying to attack the basket, but it's not going in his favor. He ends up missing the first free throw. Does he make this second one? I was about to say, he can't miss two free throws in a row. Definitely not in a game like this. Nobody pulling logo threes. Jokic midi. How is the Bulls going to respond to that? Oh, I thought Giannis was from a sidestep knockdown three-pointer. That would have been crazy. Giannis against AD. He ends up missing the first free throw once again. What's up with Giannis in the first free throw? But he does make the second. Oh my gosh, Giannis just missed. Bro, I, I thought he was going to make it. That's crazy. Giannis selling right now? The score is supposed to be 36-39. James Harden, what is he about to do? Taking them auto. Oh my gosh, James Harden with the poster? Is he doing that nowadays still? I ain't gonna lie, Jai, you gotta get your get back. You always be trying to dunk on people. This is the perfect time to do it. Giannis steps out of bounds. The Bulls are selling right now. One more shot and that's ball game. AD all the way. He goes to the line. AD's not missing. He ends up knocking down both free throws and OKC ends up winning 46-36, claiming the entire middle of the map in Canada. They they also get Giannis to sell out onto Tacumpa. Celtics and the Lakers are still untouched and it lands on the Thunder again. Thunder in the middle of the map so somebody is definitely getting touched. That's Northeast. We'll call it Washington. Wizards versus OKC. Surprisingly the Wizards have been able to keep up with this OKC All-Star team. I have no idea how they're doing it. John Wall goes all the way to the basket 34-34. This is literally just Wizards draft picks and Joel Embiid. You would think that they would be going crazy right now. KD knocks down the 3 Okay, maybe I just jinxed him by hopping in. I might have just jinxed him. John Wall is trying to carry like he's still in his prime or something. I don't know why Jordan Clarkson is guarding him. Terrible decision. It's starting to go downhill. I might have hyped him up a little bit too much. Ugh. Two minutes left in the ball game. They just keep bodying him. If it, oh, he got blocked. I was about to say the Thunder definitely got the size on him. And beat another basket in the paint and one. He got a chance to tie the game. Doesn't beat knock down the free throw. Yes, he does. 39-39. Giannis trying to do his usual dash and smash offense. It just ain't been working lately. Giannis, you gotta realize, you're getting into these final games. The usual strategy not gonna work. You gotta start making free throws. That missing the first free throw, yeah, that's not gonna work no more. Good shot. Make this next one too when y'all up on You missed. KD gets the rebound though. John Wall fadeaway three-pointer. Why would he do that? The Wizards still have a chance. Down by three, 40 seconds on the clock. If Giannis sells right here, they got a chance of winning. Giannis misses! If the Wizards are able to knock down a three, yeah, get the ball to Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill should be the only person shooting right now. Not John Wall. Maybe Joel and B could shoot. Why is the ball in John Wall's hands? I don't like this situation for them. I'm not going to lie. Runs him into the screen. Passes it down to MB. What's the plan here? Goes all the way to the basket. Misses the layup. They just choke. Okay, C ends up winning by seven. Claiming Washington and MB. Pretty much the whole entire map is OKC. So this is going to be whoever versus OKC. The Suns, actually, they got a chance to versus the Lakers. Can we see the Lakers finally getting involved? No, we can't. Phoenix versus OKC. Winner also gets Washington, Montana, and North Dakota just because those are just sitting there. Can Curry stop their reign of terror? Let's find out. The game is surprisingly close right now. KD makes the tough layup. We know that Curry can make a three at any time. I'm surprised they don't got Damian Lillard in the game right now. Oof, Curry fade away. Let me find out. It would have been nice for them to be down by one right now. They're running the pick and roll. You already know that. Okay. Whoa, I wasn't even expecting that pass. Man. Neither was KD. Good lay in. They ended up being forced to foul, and Giannis knocked down both free throws. Thunder ended up winning, claiming pretty much the entire map. There's still a couple teams left that been hiding. They also get Wardell splash on your big Curry. Four teams left on the board, and no way it ends up landing on the Thunder. They gotta have a magnet on their team. Hoofing end up getting the smoke. It ends up going towards the Lakers. This is either gonna be a massacre or a really, really good game. It was a massacre. OKC okay, now claims the entire west part of the map. 
The team is completely different. Only players from the original team still getting minutes are KD and James Harden. Only three teams left on the board. There's no way that the Celtics dodge it this time. Finally, they was hiding in that little corner forever. We don't even really got to spin this, but they never got to do it, so might as well. They went to the one place where OKC isn't at, bro. Are you No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Celtics versus OKC. Winner gets the rest of the colony. Seven points in the fourth quarter. Massacre. Jason Tatum had five and Terry Rozier had two. This is just not even fair no more. I don't think that the Hornets stand a chance. The Thunder claimed the 13 colonies. It's the final game for control over the entire map. The Thunder went from just James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and KD to a goddamn God Squad. And all Charlotte have is Luka, Shea, and LaMelo. Maybe Tobias Harris on a good day. I think we know how this is gonna go. <laughs> it was a very intense back and forth. Nah, I'm just playing. 52-37, not mad massacred but defeated okc ends up winning nba imperialism curry dropped 21 Giannis had a double double 10 and 12 did any of the original players score kd had two james harden had two that's good enough if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment subscribe i feel like we all learned something today we all learned where the states and the cities is out on the map i definitely did i did not know that memphis was all the way in the east why are they in the western conference that makes no sense we'll figure it out on the next episode um i'm out this thing finna go to sleep peace